My name is Ben Terrett and I'm Head of Design for the Government Digital Service which is part of the Cabinet Office in the UK and I'm here in Cape Town at Design in Darba talking about Gov.uk and the design work we're doing at the Government Digital Service. We are making Gov.uk which is a single domain for government which comes out of Martha Lane Fox's report which uh, the government asked her to write and look at all digital stuff and that was one of her recommendations is that we have a single place for all this. So those um, thousands of websites and you know we, we close those and kind of fold them into, into gov.uk and just make one. Um, and the, the reason to do that really is, is to ensure that the user doesn't have to understand government to find something out. They just go to one place and it's there. They don't have to know which department that have that information or which site has that information. And also that they don't have to learn new things. So typically you know, it's not like um, the BBC news website or something that you might go on once a day. People only go to government websites once or twice a year to find out that particular thing or um, transact with a particular service. So people shouldn't have to spend time reusing how to use that. So booking a prison visit should be the same as booking a driving test, say. It should be the same thing. And so if we have one single domain, we can, we can do that. And I guess at the core of all our work, not just design, the rest of the team as well, is focusing on user need. And you know the user need is is really clear and really simple, and you know so we just have one place where we, where we you know just make one website. So if you look at the design of gov.uk, it's a very simple design, and that comes that comes I think from two things. Again, focusing on the user need and, and doing early user testing and just removing things that users either told us or it was clear from their behaviour that they just didn't need. You know that they just want the information on the page. So just removing everything that gets in the way of that. And I think the second thing is, and this is, uh, I guess, where um, some of the conversations I've had with Margaret Calvert have helped, is that we realised that we were designing, we were doing information design, not just pushing pixels around a screen. So I think there's a tendency uh, these days for um, you know, web designers to sit in Photoshop and push pixels around, and that looks nice. But we sort of got to forget that and remember that people want information from the site and we're designing that information. So we design something for that information and that leads you to strip away all the bits that get in the way of that information. Um, the other thing that's really nice at the moment is we're starting to be recognised in sort of other areas. I mean we've just been nominated for the Design Museum Design of the Year which you know never thought anything like that would happen you know we're just making this government website for users really you know um, but to be nominated for something like that and amongst the sh next to the shard and the cauldron and you know all those things is fantastic. Yeah, I think it takes like five, ten minutes and you, and you start looking at British design and British history and you realise that there is this huge catalogue of, of canon of projects, you know, right back from uh, uh, Bazalgette and the sewers, you know, these fantastic public sector design, they're not just design, but they've got a design element to them, these fantastic projects, um, like the sewers or like the tube map or um, like Calvert and Kinnear's road signs, you know, we've got this fantastic heritage of this uh, public sector sort of design work really that is fantastic and that became really obvious to me and really clear and the more you looked at it there were more of those and the more you thought about it the more they were trying to do a very similar thing to what we're doing and I think if you're a, a graphic designer you know working today then the future is digital obviously I mean you know I, I'm part of a thing called newspaper club so I love print as much as anyone else but I, you know the future is digital and if you're a young graphic designer working today that's where it's all at really and, I, and so I think that there's, there's some combination there. This is a big, exciting digital project and there's this amazing heritage. If you could somehow merge those two together, you know, this, this could be absolutely amazing. That, that was sort of my you know, day one, that was my thoughts. In terms of web design and particularly user interface design um, and the maturity of web design, it's only just getting started, I think. I think there's lots to do, particularly with interface. There's lots to do as technology changes. I, I mean, we saw the guy from Google talk about Google Glasses and I think it's really interesting that he made that little point about there being no UI, you know, because with Google Glasses there's no buttons, so you're just talking to it and then stuff is appearing. I think that's really uh, fascinating and it's something, something we're trying to do on our site in particular is get out, get out the, let design get out the way and let the user get to what they want and, you know, you know, one shouldn't come to the website and go, wow, look at the graphic design. You, know, you should come to the website to find out what the minimum wage is and then go out, you know. Um, and I think web interface, most you know, we haven't achieved that yet in most web interfaces. It's still getting in the way. It's still loads of website. You know, you can see the graphic design everywhere. You know, um, and we need to sort of get past that. And technology will change, and that will uh, prompt some of that. I think so, like Google Glasses and other things that we don't know about yet, will kind of prompt people to think harder and work harder on that stuff. But um, that's, I think, yeah, I think there's a long way to go, and I think it's a fascinating 
challenge, you know, really exciting challenge.